Okay, it's day 154.5 and we finally cracked the code. We finally found the one individual where everything falls into place, all the children, the wives, all the locations, everything. And that's going to be in this guy that we did a show on uh, two episodes ago called Muhammad Tahir Awad. This is going to be a real person who really does work uh, in Pakistan for this SUI, Northern Gas Pipelines. They really do use satellite to manage the whole gas network in Pakistan. He really is from about a couple miles from Sialkot, where Adila Rice Farms is. He really does have a son named Abid. He really does have a son probably named Imran, but he has one named Abid for sure. So here's, I published all this on Twitter. Um, he is father to Adila of Adila Rice Farm fame, as I mentioned. He's also a father to Abid. And this is the first record we've ever found in our software that actually has these two folks uh, with their exact right um, timing in terms of their birthdays and so forth. Uh, now, they always seem to be born on the first of the month, which uh, is obviously, you know, when you are doing, uh, when you're in a hurry, um, uh, you you end up making everything the first because it's the easiest number to put down. But he's the chief software architect at Channel Logistics, which became Space Eyes, which, as I mentioned before, was basically farmed out to Five Eyes in the UK. He's got another daughter, daughter named Abida, uh, Abida Begum. That could be uh, Abid's wife, uh, Abida Begum, or Soraya Begum. We really don't know. It's probably Soraya Begum. And here is probably his real wife's name, which is Irene Elizabeth Salinas. So this is going to be the real family tree. He also has a an older brother, I believe, by the name of Masood. I think that's where we're going to get Masood, of course. Okay, so he's here in Springfield, obviously. And then he basically goes around and like the oil business, you move around. Um, he's in Houston, Texas, this same record, same person. He's also in Gainesville, which is by uh, Woodville, Woodside um, near Virginia, where uh, Masood lived. Uh, our famous Masood, um, who was uh, the uh, person that was a, uh, the head of the Awan Brothers uh, registered agent. Here's all of his emails here, Muhammad Awan. Here he is, T. Awan at Channel Logistics. So he, we have the backup information. And now here he's, he's going to be in Philadelphia, Tennessee, which is quite close to which is quite close to Oak Ridge National Laboratories right there. And that's going to be I hate to say Jaquea, 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 but I'm going to say Jaquea. It's going to go right through Piketown, which is where we had our murders, our drug murders. It's going to go right through Cleveland, which where we had our two used car dealer murders, like the two used car dealer murders in in um, in Richmond that Masood was involved in. And that's going to end up in Dearborn. Guess who ends up in Dearborn from Philadelphia, Tennessee? Jaquea, Jaquea, Jaquea. So everything kind of is coming together in a nice package now. Uh, so it's very satisfying. Uh, it, it helps you throw out. The best thing is it helps you throw out stuff that's not relevant and focus in on these things. We talked about the doctors. We talked about Muzaffar Awan in Dearborn, all the doctors that were being killed up there, the cancer doctor that was murdering people. We talked about the overdose doctor. So, and that's really where the journey started. And um, the one person that I listened to at the beginning, but I did not believe, was Uranium One. And he basically said this was exactly what was happening. Uh, you you were starting in these uh, rice fields. You're bringing this uranium down from Astana. He said Astana is the part that everyone's forgotten. And then it comes down through here, and that's where it picks up the drugs on its way to America. Uranium right, what, uranium one was completely right. He was right about the diplomatic t containers. He was right about the Maersk. Pretty much right about everything. And we were right about South Carolina and Charleston.